Okay, we want to find the polar representation for the complex number z with theta on the interval between 0 and 2 pi. And then we got to have to identify the real part, the imaginary part, the modulus of z, and the argument, the principal argument of z. So let's go ahead and plot this point. We need to go negative square root 3 over 4 on the real axis and then one-fourth on the imaginary, so somewhere about there. And so from the origin out to there, that is the modulus of z, and this angle right here is our theta. So let's go ahead and figure out what that would need to be. Our modulus of z is going to be, you can think of it as a triangle here. This is negative square root 3 fourths. And this is 1 fourth, so we can find the length of z there. It's going to be the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of negative square root of 3 fourths squared plus 1 fourth squared. And so square root of square root, the negative's gone, square root of 3 squared is just 3, 4 squared is 16. And then 1 fourth squared is 1 16th, so that looks like that's going to be 4 16th, which reduces down to 1 fourth. Square rooted is 1 half. So our modulus is 1 half. The length of that line right there is 1 half. So if we're writing this in polar form, the modulus goes first, and then we've got CIS, and then we need to figure out that angle. Well, looking at that triangle, I could do tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we know the arctan of opposite is 1 fourth over adjacent negative square root of 3 fourths. And that will simplify. If we flip it over, I will have negative 4 over square root 3. So that reduces down the fours cancel, and so I'm just going to write this part here, which is negative 1 over square root 3 is what that simplified to. Oh, well, I recognize that one then as a unit circle value, and that unit circle value would be the one where we have 1 half and then square root 3 over 2 so that when we simplify and we flip that over we get 2 over square root 3 and we would get that 1 third but one of those needs to be negative and that's going to be on this one so I can see I am at the point at the place where if I were to figure out the point on the unit circle it'd be negative square root 3 over 2 and one half and that is at five pi sixths. So this is five pi six. So that goes right here, five pi six, and this is the polar representation. Now to answer the other things that it asked here, it wants to know the real part of the complex number and that's negative square root three fours wants to know the imaginary part of the complex number and that is one-fourth. Wants to know the modulus of z and we already found that up here that was one-half and then it wants to know the principal argument of z that would get us around there and so it's going to be the same thing as theta. So the argument of z is going to be five pi sixths kind of squished everything in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and look then at our other example. I'll move this up so we've got plenty of room on this one. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to figure out the polar form of this. And I like to draw a picture so I can get a sense of what we've got. We've got negative four in the real direction and negative three in the complex, there's the point. The modulus then is how long that is. And this is our angle theta. And I can label the two sides. This was negative 4 and this was negative 3. So I can easily get at that modulus because I recognize this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So that's 5. We could have also found it with the Pythagorean theorem. 
So Z equals 5 CIS. Okay, so now I need the angle. And this is not going to be an angle that's on our unit circle. So the angle is going to be the arctan of, I can look at that triangle to help me, opposite over adjacent, so negative 3 over negative 4, so those will cancel. So it's the arctan of 3 fourths. And when I'm listing this, now I need to adjust that because we know that when we do arctan, we get things in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. And since it's positive, it's going to give me something in quadrant 1. So to get to the one that I need, I'm going to need to add pi to that. So when I write down this angle, I would write arctan of 3 fourths plus pi. We're supposed to give them an exact form, not put in a calculator to get a decimal approximate. So that is how I would list the polar form of this number. Now let's go ahead and answer the other parts. The real part of this number is negative 4. The imaginary part of this number is negative 3. The modulus of this number is 5. And the principal argument as I look at this, I can't I can't use the arctan of 3 pi force plus pi because that would be past my range. We have to give this on an interval either around here to pi or we have to go around the other direction and list it as a negative angle up to negative pi. So I'm going to need to go around this direction and list this angle right here. And so that angle is still going to be the calculator is going to give me the arctan and I'll be here in quadrant one but I'm going to need to subtract pi to go that other direction so that it'll give me a negative angle so it's going to be the arctan of three-fourths minus pi.